Hey guys, what is up? It's Solax Nation here, back for another video. Doing a video on aiming sensitivity and what type of player you are, and I think this will dictate what binding preset you should use. Now do keep in mind, all the topics and all the recommendations are just my opinion. So if you like something else better or think what I'm saying is utterly stupid, just remember it's my opinion, not fact, and keep your opinion to yourself or post it in the comments below. But yeah guys, without further ado, let's get into the video. Now type B, in my personal opinion, is probably better for long ranges. Now you're wondering, what's a binding preset and why should I change mine if you haven't already? Now personally, I just want you guys to experiment with both, see which one you like best. Alright, now let me explain what a binding preset is. Binding preset B is probably the one you're most familiar with, and you probably haven't used it before. Alright, so you know a game like Call of Duty, where you can just simply hold LT and it will aim you in, you don't have to click it, it will just hold in and when you let go it will stop aiming in with the iron sights. That's pretty much what Binding Preset B is. Now you're probably wondering, use the over the shoulder firing where it's kind of focused in but there's still a little bit of room for bullet spray everywhere. Now you just hold LB. It's pretty much just like holding LT with Binding Preset A for the focus firing over the shoulder but just with LB. Now this sounds really good on paper and it also is, when you engage in a short range it's better to have a lot of room for error. Now when I say this, when someone comes up to you, you want to use the hip fire, where it's spread out more and if someone's moving to the left of you, you, you don't have to move your stick as far as you would, because the bullets are kind of spraying out. This is better if you like lying down and people and the person comes behind you. They probably like, why don't you just hold your finger on LB? Now, I don't know if it's just me, but it's muscle memory for me to hold LT just to aim in and stuff. That's why I changed it to type B in the first place. So you guys, that's pretty much why you should choose type A if you're a close range player, like engaging people at close range. Obviously type B still works at close range, but this is just my opinion. And I personally think if you're a close range player, I know I've said this like so many times, stay with type A, but you know, experiment with type B. Alright, now for type B. Long ranges, medium ranges, and uh, a little bit of close range is where you guys are going to shine. Especially in the medium ranges, where you got the two time scopes with an M416. This thing is deadly, it's just like Call of Duty, aim in, someone shooting you from the back, simply let go, not having to tap it again. I used to suffer a lot when this game came out, I wasn't used to this, so instead of you having to tap LT again, which I was really bad at like I just said, you can just simply walk away. Now because I was bad at this, I always used to forget, so I always used to kick the left stick so I could run and it would make me lean to the left and I would die a lot and that was probably my main cause of death with gunfights. Okay yeah, guys, let's move on to the next part. One really big tip that I've actually used and it really improves my aim is aiming before I aim. And that makes zero sense to what I just said. But instead of holding in your, you know, your aim button depending on which binding preset you want, send to your character so the crosshairs are aiming at them, then aim in if that makes any sense to you guys. So say you're using binding preset B, don't just hold LT then drag your stick to them because that's slower. Move your stick before you hold LT so it's a little bit faster and then you want to hold LT so you aim in just like that on screen. I moved my stick and when I was just around him I held LT and I got uh, quite a nice shot, you know, hit most of my shots on him and I proceeded to take this guy out with the silence of ESS. Alright, another tip that I use that really helps me is when I'm actually transitioning from the vehicle to the ground. Alright, see this guy here, he was in the middle so it would be hard to use this tip. What I would usually do, say if the guy's on the left and he use, and he moves a lot more to the left, if I were to jump out, I wouldn't be directly looking at him and I would be open. So he would be able to easily take a shot and kill me straight away. What I do is click A and actually change where I'm sitting, so I'm on the opposite side so he has to shoot the car. And then I can redirect my aim and hopefully go for the kill. Now make sure when you're aiming, you're aiming for the head. This sounds a little bit stupid, you're like, come on Solax, always aim for the head. But when you're around the doorway, kind of judge where a character's head is, don't just go in the middle. Because if you can get one or two headshots, it will change the gunfight dramatically like you just saw there. Aiming for that guy's head took him out. Now he probably would have died anyway considering he was looking at that guy and trying to kill the other guy. But that's going to go a long way. You're probably wondering why I just turned. He chucked a flashbang grenade, or a stun grenade. And that's an easy way to counter them. See, like that, I unnecessarily leaned, threw off that guy and threw off myself a tiniest bit, but not as much as that guy. I said in my last video about winning gunfights, unnecessary leaning actually pays off here and there. So yeah guys, after this mini montage, I'm going to show my settings. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to stop talking now. 
after these couple of kills here. Uh, this is actually, I'm just going to comment out over this kill. This kill was actually kind of funny. Uh, I did cut it here and there. This is Miramar match. It was really cut. Uh, I've been shooting at this guy. I probably dumped about two rounds into him. Uh, here we go again. This time I got an 8x scope. I really don't know what was happening with my aim. Headshot this guy. The Mini 14 is actually quite weak compared to the other weapons. But yeah guys, I'm just about to show my settings after this clip. Now this is why I die straight after this. I got popped in the back of the head, but I don't show it because, you know, why they show me dying. 